Welcome to Podcast Vlogging Tips and Tricks with Alex Merced. On this podcast, we're going to talk about podcast hosting, podcast recording, promoting, and monetization. We'll also interview podcast hosts about what works and what doesn't work in the podcasting world. If you enjoy the show, please consider becoming a patron at patreon.com slash alexmerced. Also, if you need hosting for your podcast or your website, head over to libertydeal.info to find out about great deals along with special benefits for taking advantage of those deals. Thank you very much. Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmerced.com and you're listening to the second episode of Podcast and Vlogging Tips and Tricks. Now remember, in the first episode, we talked about podcast hosting and a couple different alternatives you can use for hosting a podcast because it's the first step. You gotta figure out where you're gonna put those mp3s that are your podcast so we either went through a podcast hosting service like buzzsprout.com or the alternative was to create your own website using wordpress.com and then using the simply serious podcasting plugin the benefit is buzzsprout um there is a a a monthly service that's 12 dollars if you want to make sure that your episodes don't get deleted after 90 days and on top of that, it, the fee you pay, if you do decide to pay the $12, is per podcast. So if you wanted to do three or four podcasts, that'd be $12 a piece for the, uh, to make sure that your podcast episodes don't get deleted after 90 days. Okay. Um, although you get the convenience of basically ever, having everything handled for you with um, Buzzsprout. They make it really easy. They give you great statistics, etc. So if you did want to go that route, if you go to libertydeal.info, at libertydeal.info, there's a link where you can get, basically you get a $20 Amazon gift certificate if you sign up for buzzsprout.com. But the alternative is, you start you get you get your own website so you would need your own web hosting through bluehost.com which again if you go to libertydeal.info there's a link there they get a great price um really 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 bare minimum price on bluehost.com hosting which which then you can install wordpress and then you can inst- and once you have wordpress installed and you have a website set up then you can use the simply serious podcasting plugin which is a free plugin for wordpress and there you can actually do as many podcasts as you want. You can upload as many any episodes as you want. There's no time limits. It does have some stats, but not as much as busbrot.com. So you have a couple different ways you can host the podcast. But once you decide whether to do that, again, you can go to libertydeal.info to get great pricing, great deals on both those things. But then you got to record the podcast. So there's a couple different ways you can record the podcast. Mainly, you can either record it on your laptop you can record it on your smartphone or you could use an external audio recorder. Now, if you use an external audio recorder, that's you just basically record it using the audio recorder and then take the file, put it on your computer. And that's generally the, basically the step with any of these methods. You're going to record something and then get an audio file from it. But there's a couple different ways you can do that. I do most of my video record, uh, audio recording on my smartphone. Right now I have an iPhone 7. Okay, which I just got a couple weeks ago, so I'm still learning a couple of the kinks with um, iPhone 7, especially without the headphone jack, which creates a couple interesting conflicts when it comes to recording. But for the most part, it's been working out just fine. But on the iPhone, and I'm pretty sure they have the same apps for Android, there's a couple apps that I really enjoy when it comes to basically recording audio. One is Voice Recorder Pro 7. Now, Voice Recorder Pro 7 has a lot of great features as far as, you know, being able to export the audio after you record it to your favorite cloud storage service, to other other places. It allows you to upend and do some, some minor editing. But my favorite feature is that you're able to assign an image to the audio recording and then export it as a video to your photo library, which then you can upload to YouTube. Because being able to upload a video to YouTube with your podcast episode just is just another place where people can find your podcast, hear what you have to say, you can build up an audience also on YouTube. And again, the more places you can build up an audience, the better. So I also recommend when you take the finished MP3, you would also upload it or wave or whatever type of audio file, you also upload it to an account at soundcloud.com. These are just some of the main places that people go look for stuff. 
So again, basically, you have your podcast, which you get on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher, which if you have a Buzzsprout account that actually has a little thing that walks you through how to get your podcast on iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher. Um, and if you decide to go the self-hosting route with Bluehost, then just do a quick Google search. It's really easy to get yourself listed in those directories. But the point is, you also want to be in SoundCloud and YouTube, so that way you just have a wider reach. Some people just love watching stuff on YouTube. Some people just love exploring SoundCloud.com. You want to make sure you're there so that way you're found there as well. But Voice Recorder Pro 7 makes it really easy to record, and again, makes it really easy to export it as a video afterwards. Now, sometimes when you're doing a podcast, you're going to want to have like theme music and outros and commercials. If you're going to do that on your phone, the best way to do it is using an app called Boss Jock. That's actually what I'm using to record this particular episode of the podcast. Because what's cool is that it has a soundboard, meaning that I can actually, before the podcast opens, put my theme song on there, uh, any sound effects, any commercials that I plan on playing during the episode, put them on the soundboard, and I'm able to hit them as I record. So that way, I'm not doing all this post-editing because it's all sort of live in the moment. It makes life r a lot easier if you're just doing a solo show um, that doesn't require, you know, you calling someone or some sort of external audio. So like literally right now, I'm just recording me with my phone in my hand and just recording this episode makes it really easy i can export the mp3 and if i wanted to i can export the mp3 over to video recorder pro 7 to export it as a video after the fact so that's if you how you do it with the phone now what if you want to use your laptop now when you use your laptop it depends what you're doing if you're just recording yourself talking then you, all you need is a, a, a software that can record it so you can use something for free there's software called uh Audigy, which is a free open source audio software. And you can download that and you can record with it. Um, it's pretty robust and there's plenty of YouTube videos showing you how to use it. So I would highly recommend uh, picking that up either way because it's good to have just for sometimes when you just need to edit like a quick video file, but you may not want to open up a bigger, clunkier piece of software. Now, far as doing more advanced multi track editing, I do have the Adobe suite of software, so I have access to Adobe Audition, which allows me to do um, multi-track audio editing, which makes it really easy for me to sort of organize theme songs, commercials, and then also edit individual files uh, pretty quickly. Although that does cost money. There are, the way Adobe works now is like you can pay like an annual subscription. So it's like 500 bucks for the year, but you get access to all of the Adobe programs. So this is useful if you want to make like video intros with like After Effects, or you wanted to create like images on Adobe Photoshop, uh, etc. So it just depends on what you're trying to do. Now, when it comes to like recording commercials and stuff like that, a neat trick that I've been using is that... Uh, I'll use some of Adobe's iPhone or yeah, iPhone programs. So they've come out with all these Adobe Spark apps. So there's Adobe Spark images, Adobe Spark video, but Adobe Spark video makes it really easy to do sort of a voice over audio track and do it as a video, this really cool sort of animated video. But then what I do is I'll use another app, um, just several different apps that allow you to take videos on your phone and turn them into an MP3. And then I just turn the video into an MP3 and that's my commercial because it really perfectly mixes the audio, makes it easy to really do each clip to make sure it's like really perfect. So like the intro to this podcast uh, that you heard at the very beginning of the episode, I actually made that using Adobe Spark video and then exported it as an MP3 to get that sort of odd, nice mix of vocals and audio uh, without having to do as much advanced audio work in Adobe Edition, which I could have also used, but I just found that method a lot easier, quicker. Etc. So these are just little tricks I've picked up over the years of just doing a lot of audio, video, podcasting, and vlogging. So the recap, again, you could get an audio recorder of some sort that's handheld, go meet people, do interviews, or record yourself whenever you feel like it, and then export the MP3 to your computer. Or you can record on your computer, um, or you can record using your phone. But what if you wanted to do like interviews over the phone, call people, on, and then do an interview around the world? Well, there's a couple different ways of doing that. I lately have been mostly doing it using an iPhone app. It's actually a messaging app that's going to be on all the different platforms called WePhone. 
WeFone is really meant for calling people for actual like you know phone calls but it does have a feature where you can record your phone calls which is what I, and then you can send the wave to yourself which is what i use so when i call i'll call people using the we phone app and then just hit the record button and then basically the quality of the phone the quality of the recording is going to be basically dependent on the cell phone reception on both sides um and the quality of the microphone on the phones on both sides so i've had recordings that are really high quality on both ends and ones that were basically the other person had a lower quality phone and they didn't come out as good or they had a bad uh, data connection so it didn't come out quite as clear as I would have liked. So at the end of the day, you're kind of, and that's the same, that's the thing with always with like call interviews, you are also kind of at the mercy of what equipment the person has on the other end regarding the quality of their sound. But yeah, WeFone makes it really easy to do an interview. The only catch is that you do have to pay for minutes. It's like a penny a minute, so it's not super expensive. So if you're doing like a, tw- if you're not doing more than like twenty minute phone calls, you're you're talking about like you know twenty cents for every interview. So you know you throw in ten ten dollars worth of minutes, you're good for a long, 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 long time. But there is that expense, just so you're aware of it. If you really want to kind of keep costs down to a minimum, you could use um, Skype. Skype is really convenient. Uh, everyone has Skype, so it's not hard to find other people with Skype because the only time you have to pay for Skype is if you're calling people, those landlines, but everybody has a Skype account, so you don't have to worry about that. The, the only catch is you need to find some sort of external recording software that records Skype calls on your on your laptop. The, and there's programs like Pamela, um, et cetera, and they, they all work fine. The catch is that you need to make sure that your internet connection is fine. I trust my cell phone's data connection more than I trust my home internet connection, which is why I choose to go the route of a Wii phone on my iPhone. But if you have a pretty dependable internet connection uh, that isn't bogged down, then recording on your laptop at Skype is really convenient. Then you would just take the MP3, import it into like Adobe Edition or Audigy, and then just edit it at will. If you do need like a theme, an intro theme to your podcast, you could use the Adobe Spark video technique that I mentioned before. Or what you could do is you can check out a website called Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R.com, where basically you can find people for like five bucks to create you intro theme music. You can find people for five bucks to do voiceovers, to do an intro theme to the podcast. So for my main podcast, the Alex Merced cast, that's exactly what I did. I had one person who made the intro music, then another person who took that and made that into a podcast intro theme that I that I use for the intro and outro of the show. So you're talking about ten bucks, and now you have something that looks sounds very professional, and with someone with a you know sort of more a voice with more panache than mine. But uh, those are all sorts of techniques when it comes to recording your podcast. So again, episode number one, if you haven't listened to episode one, please do listen to episode one where we talked about podcast hosting. This episode, we talked about sort of different things you can use to record your podcast. In future episodes, we're going to talk about marketing your podcast and promoting your podcast. We're going to talk about monetizing your podcast. So keep listening to the podcast. Tell your friends to subscribe, subscribe yourself. And if you start a podcast using some of the techniques we have, please shoot me an email so that way I can. Um, and also, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at alexmerced at alexmerced.com. And I'll be more than glad to answer them on future episodes. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day and enjoy. And again, go to libertydeal.info if you need podcast hosting. Thank you very much.